House file number 3469, number five on the calendar for the day, an act relating to crime, the second engrossment. Call upon the author of the bill from Pope, Representative Anderson, to explain the bill. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Members, today I bring forward to House file 3469, known as Laura's Law. It's a result of a tragic incident that happened back uh, in my district last fall. A young woman, 18-year-old Laura Schwendeman, uh, disappeared on the evening of October 14th last fall. And she was last seen on uh, security camera footage at a gas station uh, in Alexandria later that evening. Her body was finally discovered some 12 days later by a farmer operating his combine in a cornfield. The person who put Laura in that cornfield went the entire 12 days withholding the truth of where she was from law enforcement and her family, with the result being 12 days of, uh, as a parent, I can't imagine what they went through uh, during that time of wondering where their daughter was and, and what had happened to her. It also involved a massive search for her body uh, by law enforcement, Douglas County officials, and a lot of volunteers from the public that helped with the search, also a plane and a helicopter. And uh, the defendant in the case uh, never confessed to how or where he had put Laura's body until after she was found when he did confess. He finally, after finding the body, told authorities that the two had been out that evening and had been doing uh, methamphetamines. And when Laura became unresponsive, he stopped the car in the country alongside a cornfield, picked up her body, and uh, carried her 18 rows deep into the cornfield, and, and he, he just left her there. When the case finally went to trial, the only charge available to the county attorney was that of interference with the, with the death and uh, misleading authorities of the coroner as to where the body was located. And that's a gross misdemeanor currently. The family, and I think a lot of people in the area as well, were surprised, and I would say almost shocked, at the, that the charge for that crime was so light. After what he had done to Laura's body, what he had done, put her family through, and uh, after lying to law enforcement for all that time, his sentence was a year in jail with time off for good behavior, and he could be out uh, in a matter of months. So Laura's family is asking that uh, this crime be increased to a felony, but on a, on a higher level, other states are looking at this as well. And four states have increased this charge of interfering with a body uh, to a felony. Those states are Wisconsin, Arizona, Oklahoma, and New York, and a fifth state, Colorado, is considering such an increase in, in the charge. So with that, members, I would uh, ask for your support, and uh, Laura's family would say thank you. There's an amendment at the desk. The clerk will report the amendment. <clears throat> Lesh moves to amend House Law number 3469, the second engrossment, and the amendment is coded A3. Call upon the author of the amendment from Ramsey, Representative Lesh. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I'm withdrawing the amendment. Representative Lesh withdraws the amendment. There being no further amendments at the desk, the clerk will give the bill its third reading. Third reading, House Bill number 3469. Third reading. Discussion. Discussion to the bill. Seeing none, the clerk will take the roll. Members, please vote. The clerk will close the roll. There being 124 ayes and zero nays, the bill is passed and its title agreed to.